Hey everyone, Laura here again. We're um, on guide five battery tubes of my Open ROV 2.7 assembly. And so, whew, looks like we get to do some battery tubes. I'm pretty excited about this. This time around, I'm gonna be going with the standard uh, lithium cells that the guys from Open ROV recommend. So in my previous unit over here, um, we actually modified it to use the nickel metal um, rechargeables and those were a little heavy which meant I had to add some more flotation. And we are on to guide five battery tubes. Um, for this, let's see, for this we're going to need acrylic cement, um, my applicator for the acrylic cement. Um, of course, we'll be using the cement, so I'll want to use some rubber gloves, super glue, soldering iron, sandpaper. I've got it right here. And helping hands, got those, flush cutter right over there, wire strippers, safety glasses, and some more two ton epoxy flow mix. Um, I am going to try something a little bit different. Um, when it comes to sealing my end caps for my e chassis, I'm actually probably going to. Um, leave just one open, one side open, for the pressure relief. Um, I figure the fewer leak points, the fewer failure points, um, then we'll be less likely to have leaks. And so to me, um, the relief valve is a failure point, potential failure point, so I'm going to seal one of those so there won't be, my end caps won't actually be symmetrical in the sense that one end cap is going to be completely sealed um, without a, the syringe tip for the pressure relief. We did this in my um, Open ROV 2.6 and we actually sealed both of the big holes and made a screw in um, pressure relief valve more like you'll see in scuba gear and such. And so far that's worked really, really well. I haven't had any leaks, but um, I'm gonna try to stay more stock on this build. Um, I will still use the syringes so that I kind of get a feel for how they work well um, for when I'm advising other people on builds, um, but I am gonna seal that one end cap side. So, without further ado, let's get started!